There he is. There he is. Look at him. Wow, look at that leap. Look at how well he camouflages into the tree. That's incredible. A few weeks back, I got an email from the Arizona Game and Fish Department asking, would the Brave Wilderness team and the Coyote Pack be interested in helping to promote a conservation project we have in the works? And our answer, without question, was yes. And as perfect timing would have it, we just so happened to be in Phoenix, Arizona on the Brave Wilderness Live Tour. So the morning before our show, we couldn't resist the invitation to swing by and meet their star attraction, Hunter, the Bobcat. Mark, we are on our way to meet a Bobcat. Are you ready? Uh, is it tame? Uh, I think so. Okay, I can be up for that. Be safe with that. Mario, are you ready to meet Hunter the Bobcat? Is it a cat named Bob? It's a or Bobcat named Hunter. Oh, okay, yeah. You like bobcats, right? I like bobcats. Now guys, we have worked with a bobcat once before, and it was incredibly difficult because the bobcat was spring-loaded. It was bouncing all over the place. It was almost impossible to get it on camera. So we're gonna give this another try because Hunter needs our help. In fact, he also needs your help. Right now we're promoting a GoFundMe campaign to help build Hunter a brand new sanctuary. You guys ready to get up close with this crazy cat? Let's do it. All right, ready? Ready. Here we go. All right, guys, we are on location right now in Phoenix, Arizona at the Arizona Game and Fish Wildlife Center. We're gonna head in here and meet Heather and then get up close with Hunter, the bobcat that we're gonna hang out with today. High security for the bobcat. Don't want to jump out. You must be Heather. I am. It's so Hi, nice I'm to Coyote. meet you. Nice Hi, Coyote. Nice to meet Coyote. you. And you must be Tegan. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you, you Tegan. Too. Thank you guys so much for having us here today. Thank you for coming. Um, this is like maximum security. <laughs> is the bobcat an escape artist? Well, you never know. Yeah, you never we're know. We're with right? wild animals, right? All right, well, let's bring Mark and Mario in here. Come on in, guys. So this is it. This is your wildlife center. This is our wildlife center. It was built in 1983, so about 35 years ago. Okay, so it's time for an upgrade. It is definitely time for an upgrade. And that's what we're here to do today, to promote the GoFundMe campaign that you guys have going right now. And our audience out there, which we call the Coyote Pack, I'm telling you, is gonna be super excited okay. to tour this facility. And then of course, we're looking to meet Hunter, Absolutely. which would you say he's your star attraction? He's pretty cool. Okay. He's pretty cool. We love Bobcats. We've had the chance to work with Bobcat in the past and they're spring loaded, right? Mm -hmm. Jumping all over the place. Yeah. Yes. What is Hunter's demeanor typically like? Well, Hunter's a really good boy. Okay. And he's got amazing trainers. He works as our education animal ambassador, so he's used to meeting people and he's used to coming out. Okay. So he's actually pretty calm, but as you know, all wild animals can be a little bit unpredictable. Okay. So you never know. Well, I'll let you lead the way. Let's head back this direction. Right. And I think maybe the first thing that would be cool is to check out Hunter's current enclosure. Okay. Because the big initiative here is to get him a new enclosure built, correct? He needs a new home at our brand new wildlife center that we're currently building. Okay, cool. Well, let's go check it out. All right. Hunter's enclosure. Hunter's enclosure. Come on inside. Wow, it's actually a lot cooler temperature-wise in here than I would have thought. Mario, not for you. Okay, you can come in. I'm, come just, on, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. Hi guys. Well, we're in here for a while now. Well, well we, we, pond. we are now the Bobcats. Yeah, we do have a pond. That is amazing. Here, let me come on this side. Feel the temperature of this water. As I was saying when we were walking in. Wow, that feels amazing. It is scorching outside right now. It's only nine o'clock in the morning, but it's surprisingly mm -hmm. cool inside of this enclosure, which is important for Hunter to be very able to stay important. in the shade, right? Yes, very, very important. Okay. Now, can you drink this water? I would. I, you I am pretty <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> Let me, uh, no, there might be bobcat pee in there, right? There probably is. Yeah, I don't think I want to drink that water, but it's pretty cool that he has a pond and a water fountain. Now, in the design of his new enclosure, will he also have a pond that he there can splash There will be a pond, no okay. waterfall, no but waterfall. there will be a pond that will change out daily. Okay, <laughs> and he's got some climbing sort of tree 
structures here. Kind of looks like it's for birds, but you know, bobcats are so agile, I could see how this is great exercise yep. for him in here. Yep. And as we get back here, obviously he has his little den, mm -hmm. but I think this den looks like it's probably from the 80s, and it's 2018, so also time for an upgrade. Huh? Oh, it Definitely like time. Desert igloo or it, something. It does like a little bit. I think, we uh, try and keep it rustic. Yeah. I think he needs a new crib. New crib? Yeah. Hunter's crib. Well, yeah, I could certainly see how this enclosure could advance. And like I was saying, from 1983 to 2018, I think it is time for a structural upgrade. Me too. And I also think it's time to meet Hunter. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah, let's see this bobcat. All, All right, right, let's, let's go, go meet Hunter. Oh, look, a ball. Don't play with the ball. Oh, Mario. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, no, 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 Sorry, Mario. Oh, all right, dude, um, feeding gonna time. How are you going to film without my camera? Feeding time is in two hours. All right, let's so the there, buddy. that out. <laughs> nah, we need Mark. Guess I'm lucky I'm the camera guy today. Right, you would have left me in there. Come on out. Is it, is it safe? Come on out, buddy. Okay, so I guess they have Hunter out up here by a tree. We're gonna see what Hunter is capable of. I'm sure jumping and being adorable with that little bob tail. So let's try to stay quiet, work around the edge here and let Hunter get acclimated to us. There he is, there he is. I'm gonna approach in and see how close I can get to Hunter. All right, buddy. Wow. Look at him, such a beautiful cat. So soft, his coat is very fluffy right now because technically it is winter here in Arizona, even though it doesn't feel like it. So he's got his winter coat grown in with his little bob tail. So cute. Look at how big those paws are. So Hunter has been in training as an animal ambassador his entire life. And he's just over eight years old now and he's completely conditioned to humans. And actually, he's rather well trained. Can we show how Hunter jumps up into the tree? Sure. Check this out, watch this, how he can spring up after a little meat treat here in the tree. Wow, look at that leap. That's incredible. Look at how well he camouflages into the tree. Hi, how are you? As you see, he's a little nervous. He's not used to me. Such big ears. Look at those big paws, perfect for climbing. Such a beautiful cat. Oh, there you go. Did you see that? Paw oh, he's got a little snack now. I don't want to back him too much up into the tree there. Let me give him some space. That's cool, I can turn out. Oh, there you go, you get a good shot of his bob tail. You see that? You see how it twitches? Up in the air like that, it's white on the underside. He's got the white spots on the back of his ears. He's having a little meat snack right now. How is that? It's amazing how their faces look just like the faces of a Maine coon cat. Ooh, now he's down here on the ground. Let me see if I can come over from here. Hi, Hunter. Hi, buddy. Thank you. Try to get a little bit closer here, Mark. Go ahead and zoom in on his coat. See if you guys zoom in on the coat. Look at the color and the camouflage. You can see it blends right into even the ground. All this rugged terrain here in Arizona allows these cats to stay completely camouflaged. Look at that muscle in these legs. Incredible spring-loaded power. And how high can he leap? Um, easily six to eight feet. Six to eight feet. So he can easily just poof right up on top of this tree with virtually no effort. So Coyote, how can people help Hunter with his new home? Actually, there is a GoFundMe campaign that is running right now. And if you guys go to the About section of this video, we'll place a link for it there. We are personally gonna make a donation to this fund. And if everybody out there watching it also help get Hunter this new enclosure, that would be absolutely amazing. He's a beautiful cat. He absolutely deserves the best. Well, thank you guys so much for having us here today to the Wildlife oh, Center. Gosh. This was so cool getting to meet Hunter. Guys, remember to click on the link in the video description below. Let's help Hunter out, get that new sanctuary built. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Getting to spend time with Hunter allowed the crew and I to see just how special this cat really was. As the cornerstone star of the Arizona Game and Fish Wildlife Center, building a newly modified enclosure for Hunter will ensure a healthy and happy life for this incredible bobcat. With more than 100 unique species that currently call this rehabilitation center home, every donation helps. So make sure to visit Hunter's GoFundMe campaign where you can become a part of this exciting conservation project. 
If you thought Hunter was a cool cat, make sure to go back and watch our first encounter with one of these spring-loaded predators. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location.